we all know that the key to successfully transitioning our wardrobes from summer to autumn is layering. But an outfit that's layered well doesn't just happen. If you want to look well dressed, you can't just throw on whatever is close at hand and hope for the best. Layering well takes lots of careful thought, but most importantly, lots of planning and preparation. Preparation is everything and women who dress well never make the mistake of skipping planning. She starts planning her transitional outfits now, and usually with military precision, making sure she's got a few key pieces that will make the transition look effortless and seamless. Now, something you may find in a wardrobe is a lightweight jacket, something that will give that extra layer of warmth without being too heavy, something like a trench coat. The trench coat can layer over a white trouser, vest and sandal combination and then when it gets colder switch the sandals for a closed toe shoe, maybe a loafer, a two-tone flat or a trainer. The white dress is a staple in lots of well-dressed women's summer wardrobe and a beige trench coat could be slipped over white summer dresses when an extra layer is needed. The two colours complement each other very nicely. As we transition into the season further, many women naturally start wearing darker jeans. As it still may be a little bit too warm to wear a knit, a silk shirt is a great option. Either worn with a beige trench coat or start introducing some darker colours and wear it with a black trench in preparation for wearing black coats that will become a winter staple. This one I'm wearing is from Lily Silk. I've got a code for Lily Silk. It's for 12% off everything. Well, I do have a 15% off code for orders over 350 pounds or dollars. It's on the screen and I'll link it below for you. It's very lightweight, as you can see. So it layers beautifully over lighter tops and shirts. It's perfect for now when it's still warm and you might want an extra layer, or it'd be perfect if you live in a country where you don't need a very thick coat. If you do need warmer outerwear that is a wardrobe staple for lots of us and that can make that transition from summer to autumn a little bit easier is a blazer. Denim shorts paired with a white shirt is quite a popular summer outfit. When it starts getting colder, the black blazer can be added to the combo. And then when it's too cold for shorts, the leg line can be dropped for a longer leg jean. Satin slip skirts can be transitioned into the fall and autumn with a blazer quite easily, as can summer dresses. Blazers do make the transition from summer to autumn easier, but something a little bit more casual and throw on can be quite beneficial in a transitional wardrobe. A bomber jacket can work really well, especially with some wide leg relaxed trousers and a vest top, not necessarily a crop top. The lighter trousers won't be warm enough going into the season more, so they can be swapped for jeans and a t-shirt or a long sleeve t-shirt. Preparing the wardrobe with different outerwear options will help deciding what to wear during this really tricky time much easier. As can having a selection of different shirts to choose from can make the transition between seasons so much easier. They can be easily styled but they can also be very easily layered. If you have a mix of plain colours and prints in your wardrobe you'll be able to transition them easily. The striped shirt for example is a popular summer shirt because it looks so wonderful with white, white shorts, jeans and a skirt. Now that striped shirt can be transitioned into the fall by putting it with black trousers and black bag and a herringbone blazer. Now that's not a combination that you may necessarily think of, but you can see how that can work. The first step would just be to change the trousers to perhaps some black ones. The blazer could be added further into the season. At the first stage, when you change the trousers, you could start introducing some autumnal colours. With this outfit, you could add some red. And red is set to be a really big colour trend this autumn and winter. So you can start off gently with a bag. And then when it's time to add an extra layer, add a red coat. Or maybe even wear it with a camel coat. The shirt I'm wearing in this look is the stunning Amalfi shirt from Lily Silk. Now this is available in black and blue stripe. They're both beautiful and look incredibly elegant. These are shirts that I don't believe will ever go out of style. So stripes are quite easy to transition through the seasons, but a white shirt is the ultimate essential in every well-dressed woman's transitional wardrobe. From being paired with shorts and sandals in the summer, then to a longer leg trouser and sandal. The sandals then can be swapped for a closed toe shoe, whatever style that may be, and then layered with a coat, any of which I've mentioned already. This shirt I'm wearing is another beautiful lily silk piece. It's a crease resistant silk shirt, and I have tested it, it hardly wrinkles at all. Now this is crepe de chine silk, 
which is one of my favourites. It feels so wonderful on your skin, but it has so much movement to it. It just feels fabulous on. It's a very elegant fabric and it's a very elegant shirt and it's excellent quality, which is what you expect from Lily Silk. The beauty of this shirt though is when it's time to layer it up. It can be worn simply with a coat, like the trench coat, or layered with a sweater over the shoulders. This is a very Ralph Lauren look and one I particularly like. As well as looking stylish, the sweater adds some warmth, keeping your back and your neck warm. The sweater I've layered over my shoulders is the one I'm actually wearing now. I've worn this sweater before in my videos and I've got asked lots of times for the details. So this is a wool cashmere blend sweater. It is very beautiful. Too beautiful just to wear over your shoulders. It could be worn with a shirt underneath, but it can be worn just as it is. It's been so cold here, so I've already been wearing this and it's as lovely as it looks. When it is time for a knit, this sweater with jeans is a lovely, simple transitional outfit. As it gets colder, the lighter wash denim can be replaced with black denim or even a darker indigo jean. And the sweater can be worn under a blazer with some autumnal tones, browns and rust colours. The cable knit and a check blazer have a gorgeous depth and richness combined and it's a very country casual combo. The blazer will come later on in the transition, so it can start with a t-shirt and then layer the sweater over the shoulders, and then that can transition to under the blazer when the time comes. Judging the weather and the temperatures makes deciding what to wear so challenging, so you just need to be prepared. So sweaters are a necessity. They evolve through the transition. They start as an optional just in case layer and start perhaps over the shoulders. They then become the base layer, then layered over a base layer, which may be a vest that's not seen. They then get layered over a shirt and then layered under the coat. So they evolve with the temperatures. Plan your outfits around a sweater that can evolve easily. Some don't layer that well, but a V-neck sweater can. This one I'm wearing is the Lily Silk polo shirt. It's 100% cashmere. This is a lovely light camel colour. I love the v-neck on this but I also really like the collars. The length is great. It can be worn tucked in or left out and it's a very nice light knit. It doesn't feel heavy or bulky and this works with everything in my wardrobe. So this will be a part of my autumn capsule wardrobe. I know lots of you, like me, love Lily Silk, so if you do have your eye on anything, there's my codes again to grab a discount. It's 12% off everything or 15% off orders over either £350 or $350. And everything I've showed you in this video are linked below as well. A cardigan can be worn season to season and they can be quite versatile, but of all the pieces, they need a little bit more careful thought and planning on how they're going to be worn. Sometimes a cardigan is used as a last thought rather than part of an outfit and that's where it can go wrong because then it doesn't necessarily go with the outfit. So even if there's a slim chance you're going to wear it with your outfit in the late summer, plan your outfit as if you will so it becomes part of the outfit and also then the proportions of the outfit will work with the cardigan. All these pieces should be able to help you transition your wardrobe very easily from summer to autumn and they can all be part of an autumn capsule wardrobe if you're planning one. If you want some ideas then watch this video next.